And my mic was muted. There we go. <laughs> that should be good. <clears throat> Let me double check everything's running smoothly or not. Before we fully get started with the stream. So it's going live, it's going live, mute, and... There we go. I also want to test. Okay, so my budget can actually read Twitch emote. That's pretty cool. That's pretty both cool. Then we got it exactly in time without even knowing. Hi, welcome to the stream. Just setting up everything. Just setting up everything. Welcome to the stream, Subalu. <clears throat> so... I have did this pulls on my YouTube channel, and as a result, it was a slight win, a slight victory for people who say no pull. However, <clears throat> however, it's very close, and the general sentiment on the comment has been wanting me to pull for the character. So, and for that reason, I am actually going to pull. Okay, I'm actually going to pull. However, well, I'm going to pull for the character. Right here, I'm going to pull for the character. I won't be using him this patch or next patch. What I will be doing instead, I will be using Axe. It's so nice to I'll be using you. Axe as my dispeller so when I need long. to dispel. But I'm going to pick up Puppy the Good Boy for collection issues. So let me see, there should be new patch. Okay, nice. Let me just grab those real quick. I mean, pull for content guides, but ideally don't use him too much. I'm not using him at all. I'm not using him until patch 1.3. That's when I'm actually going to use him. So, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yeah, that's that's, uh, that's right. It's Thanksgiving today. I'm actually off work. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to stream right now. I don't have to work today or tomorrow. So, that's great. <clears throat> Let's just grab all the packs first before we do the pulls. And once we're done with the pulls, we're going to dive right into the UTTU. Now, last time when we did the stream, I was trying to make the UTTU guide live, right? What is this? Wait a second. It's $15 for pulls plus like what? Six? So 10 pulls for $14. Are you serious with this pack? This is... Don't buy this pack, by the way. This is garbage. I'm just buying every pack because I'm uh, a degenerate gacha player. But this this pack sucks. What the heck? <laughs> Go on the pulse. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the stream, everybody. <clears throat> also, if you guys jump over to my Twitch channel instead of you watching on YouTube, I have some new emotes I put up there. Only Twitch allow free emotes, unfortunately. So... Why grinding game when you can grind in real life? Exactly, you know. But hey, it's it's uh, it's what do you call it? A legal holiday, so I don't have work today or tomorrow. <laughs> Anyhow, so we have exactly 1500 and 28 pulls. Let's see. Maybe we can get super lucky because we did pull a lot and lost a 50 50 before. Uh, let's see. Ah, it's purple. Hey. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, thank you for the Google Play card. Put Pickle in for Maltese and 160 for Tooth Fairy Black Dwarf left. Oh, that's great. You have more You have more pools available next patch as well. This is yellow, right? Yeah, this is yellow. Not interested. So 20 pools, nothing. Blue Poach, I'm streaming. You know, you, you gotta give me the early one. You gotta give me like a, a early pickle. You know what I mean? It looks good on you. Also, that's two baby blues. Okay. I'm using her anyway, so... Um, <clears throat> so, we need to convert that now. So, 30. This is also... Okay, Corn Bloom. Wait, is my Corn Bloom maxed out? Not yet. Okay, that's good. Corn Bloom... When you max out Corn Bloom, her ultimate is ridiculously strong. I'm saving the Tooth Fairy for Afraid to Play. Is she coming up to two weeks? Yes, that is correct. She should be the next banner. Ah, oh, okay. That's 40 pulls and fortune. Oh, wait, that, is that 50? I spell well. Hi, welcome to the well stream. But we're only getting one copy of people, okay? Yep, this is guaranteed. Um, and we'll... 
Is there more people watching on Twitch? No, there is more people watching on YouTube. Most people come here from my stream. Only a few people watching Twitch. The only reason I'm talking about Twitch is because in Twitch, I uh, I got this stuff, okay? I got this stuff. I spent some money and bought some emotes. So now my Twitch have a lot of free emotes for followers. Uh, and also, can we talk about how we have two Druvius 3 yet? Like, I know she's on the side banner and stuff, but like... <laughs> what is this? What is this? Is this the Gephardt of Reverse 1999? Is is that a reckless emote? Yes, that's a reckless whistle emote. But um, thank you again for slowing down at your video. I'm the guy from Discord. Oh yeah, I'm <clears throat> I'm looking to find a good balance between still delivering as much information in a short amount of time as possible while still being understandable. Also, damn it, I can't be. There's no way I need to actually buy straight gem for this, right? There's no way. There's no way. There is no way this is happening. My E3 S2 Gephardt says yes. My E6 Gephardt says... God damn! We're turning... No way! I'm draining my... There's no way this is happening. There, there is no way. There's no... Oh my god! There is absolutely no way! When does UT2 come out in NA or is it already out? It's already out. Alright, alright. You see you see how I have this uh, number? It's going down. And it's a... What is this luck? Holy... I better get a good pull on Tooth Fairy. What the f- uh... 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 Beko, where are you? Why are you like this? Hold on, hold on, we're gonna do a Rachel. Treat, walk, treat, walk, park, park, treat. Walk. Well, I, I mean, honestly, we're in hard pity right now, so like... Oh, God. How did this even happen? Uh, I mean, this should be guaranteed, right? Yeah, that's guaranteed. E yay, we got... We got Pickle. Awesome. I was not expecting to go all the way down to zero. And tap into my... Crystal Drops. I was not expecting. I was not expecting to go this far on Pickle's banner. What is going on? Hey, on the bright side, uh, I, I got I got another corn bloom. Uh, my baby boy is Max Salad portrait, I think. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's really unlucky, not gonna lie. Yeah, my, I mean, I, my gacha luck has never been so... My gacha luck has never been good. My gacha luck has been, like, shitty ever since I started playing gacha. And the only one I got really lucky recently was with Limba's company. I got the new character, two copies of her. Unfortunately, dupe doesn't matter in that game, but I got two copies. Oh, uh, in 10 pools, but yeah, okay. Anyway, so that was the summon. Not what I expected, especially consider I'm a content creator. They did not... Th Puppy just boost the drop rate of a content creator. It's gonna look good on he you. You know what I mean? <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to walk into a UT2. This time, we're going to try to make the UT2 guide again. However, I have doubled down the scripting, so now I'm just gonna be reading the script. I looked through my footage that I had from last stream. It was unusable. It was absolutely unusable. I could not actually make a video out of it. Where the crazy find in chapter 12 is? No, crazy find is chapter 20. Crazy find is chapter 20. 
His name is Diggers. So, <laughs> I need to go push all the way to chapter 20. <clears throat> it's one of the most annoying stage in this UTTU, honestly speaking. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's get started. <clears throat> so, we're going to start with the intro. Actually, we're going to do get that little animations. And, uh, you know, if you guys want, say hello to YouTube. We're going to try this one one more time. One more time. Okay. <clears throat> UTTU is a special mode that opens up at the second half of each patch. In it, there are... Actually, no. We're going to close this. In it, there is a main stage where you will be able to climb up to stage 30. You will slowly... Uh, how do I do this? Okay, we, we'll just clear this one and then we'll unlock that thing, right? So, we'll, we'll do the next on there. <clears throat> Alright, so first UTTU. I have like a few set I want to try in here, but um, yeah, for the first stage, we're just gonna run this. <clears throat> Nothing unexpected. For now. So, this should be pretty simple, and uh, they do no health. They have no health here on the first run. We're just gonna try to kill them in one go. Big bomb. Conventional choice. So if I remember correctly, like stage 15 sucks, stage 20 sucks, stage 30 sucks. I don't quite, I don't think I beat stage 30 in the first UTT. Well, it's in the end because I wasn't really trying, trying. But we'll see how that goes. I don't quite remember what chap, uh, what stage 30 of UTT is, but uh, you don't really need to clear that far. Like so, <clears throat> there we go. So we just cleared it. Oh, I should have recorded that. Should have not. Yeah, I should have recorded that. Oops. Anyhow, anyhow. Uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Let me see. Uh, you will slowly unlock slots for your character and teams so you can equip them with fame card on your character. Uh, <clears throat> Let me put that fame card on them. All right, so. This is a tutorial that we don't need to see, so we'll just do this. <clears throat> uh. Actually, I don't need recording this. We'll move on to the next stage. Is still be worth building more Bloom Party? Yes and no, depends on what you're trying to do. She's mostly, you mostly want her, so she can burst you after I3 because she can proc cure instantly. And she does way more damage than Bloom Party can dream of. But in that process, right? In that process, she needs more actions and she cannot compete with Bloom Party in, in terms of quick heal when your team is low. Bloom Party is really good at quick heal when your team is low. And Bloom Party's healing doesn't skill with your character's attack, right? It, because it doesn't skill with attack. It allows her to be more fla uh, to be easier to use. I'm stuck on stage 30. So, stage 30, you need to one-shot them, right? There are a few strategies, but one of the easiest strategy I will uh, I can show you right now. Give me a second. It's something you cannot get on day one. Okay, it's a uh, if you have if you struggle with chapter 30. Even for a great. I think. Uh, double check Tra chapter th chapter 30s what's her name again um is eagle right chapter 30 should be eagle nothing about it <clears throat> let me see chapter 30 should be eagle so breaking news blah 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 all right we got the utt retail and stuff <clears throat> we don't have to worry about this just go away okay so in the achievement can we not do this no, I don't want to. That's a that's a lame. I don't want any of these cards. Not in the blue form. Uh, <clears throat> go away. So, an achievement. When you when you did fifteen times retail, you get this card. You get this card, right? When an ally's character have a ultimate after each action and at end of each round, the next ultimate deals twenty percent increased damage. This can infinitely stack. You put this on. Okay, you put this on your main carry. Uh, that was the wrong button. You put this on your main carry, okay? And 
you put um this card. Where is the good stuff? The good stuff. You put this one, the multilinguist, and you put this one. What lightning is to tempest, and you just one shot the boss after like ten turns. You just stack this on them. Like you you, you get their ultimate up. You do basic skills. Do you, do you pull pickles though? I did pull pickles. It only cost me a whopping 140 pulls, which is just insane. But um, yeah, we put for pickle, but I'm not gonna use him. Uh, it's just for collection collection purpose only right now. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. Oh 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 oh! And uh, I have talking about this. Let me just get this footage early or now. So after. Let me see, I want to talk about um, special cards and stuff. Okay, let's get the team card unlocked and then we make that portion, right? Will we lose UTTU cards we farming? You will lose it at the end of uh, the event. Each new UTTU you will have to start fresh. You will have to start fresh, but this is not a big deal. It's not a big deal. In my opinion at least, it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. But yeah, UTTU is actually not that difficult. Look, it runs for two, three weeks, right? And it's not that hard to actually clear the entire thing if you just space out and farm the retail stuff. Why not do this? So, uh, <clears throat> I feel sad for you too when I saw you got hard fitted. I'm, I'm getting really used to this stuff. I have such terrible gacha lock, it's insane. When I play gacha game, I just don't have any expectations. I just don't have any expectations. I give up. Like, I am... I, um, every time I'm budgeting for something, I assume I need hard pity. Alright, this sucks. <clears throat> Why are like this? With a freeze and stuff? There we go. Does every UTTU have a character skin in the shop? Yes, every single UTTU have a character skin in the shop. However, I just want to make sure you understand this. They're all three, four, three stars, right? Those skins are for three stars. You probably are not going to use them very often. You know, and um, yeah, you get tons of uh, what do you call it? You get tons of free stuff by. By not buying the skin, you know, comparatively, you can clear the entire shop by stage 20 if you just don't buy the skin. Just want you to know. Should that be Lydia or PS3 Charlie? Why not both? Why not both? Uh, just know that um, Charlie's face might be on the skin. Okay? Charlie's face might be on the Thunderous Applause. It's actually one of the worst sites you can ever put on Charlie. She has less than 200 critical tag. She can't build crit. Not even with Tooth Fairy, actually. Like, you can't just build her crit. She's so bad with crit, actually. <laughs> like, defense reduction type of stuff is more profitable on Charlie. Charlie would be more effective now. If you have her P3, Lydia without TF, she kinda... No, 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 no. Lydia doesn't run with TF. What are you talking about? This is also a really good one. So this can make your make you burst the fight super quickly. The hand of the dealer you get. The, the good one is the orange one. Not orange one, the yellow one. So the yellow one give you plus two incantation. So if you have like a three card start of a character, you have three, rank three as the start, it's insane. Okay, so you see, you see, when I finish that, it says more, right? So the retail has a level system. You want to go up in level. Actually, I think this is a good spot to actually make this part of the guide. So, <clears throat> there are three more modes in UTTU. One is this UTTU retail. You get five entries per day, and it store up to ten. You will be able to farm UTTU cards from this stage, and my advice is not touch this until you have gone past stage 15 or at least until you can no longer advance. As every few stages, look at the top, you will gain one level on here, and after you finish chapter 15, the, the rate of orange card is the highest. 
All right, there we go. That's a piece of uh, guide right there. Hopefully this time, this time, no stuttering. Everything just perfectly. I'm reading a script and we can put that into the video. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, and uh, oh, why do I keep clicking that? I don't know why, but um, I wish that thing actually just go back to this stage, not there. But anyway, so. Where did I have the farm card stuff? Ah, there we go. Fame cards are the core of this gameplay, and you can check the one you own and don't own in the fame card binder, actually. You can also try your luck by fusing for a higher rank fame card. There we go, that's farm I can't, I can't, I can't with this. I keep clicking the wrong button and I'm going back to the homepage. Anyway, so that's farm fame card and let's go and we're going to unlock all the stuff at stage 12. Put that on. Hey, rank two skills. <clears throat> wow, so many things that I haven't Ah, uh, yes, that is my little mention that in achieving incorrectly says chapter 12, kill crazy fun. I will do that separately, so I'm planning to make one specific video. See, I have all the rank 2 skills and I beat the shit out of them, right? So, I will be making a separate video for each UTD. It's going to be stage and card overview. So, if they want a little easier time, they can look at that. He got to mention that stage 20, you got red dot. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see, so, uh, one, two, three. What is red dot are we talking about? You're talking about achievement you can complete? Or something else? A little confused over here. Oh, awesome. That's perfect cards. Big kick. Complete. There we go. I have so many things I want to do. So, <clears throat> I'm guaranteed for Tooth Fairy. I have too many mental characters now. Holy Regulus, P3, Charlie, Melania. Damn. Why did you Why did you pull from Melania at that point? <laughs> um. <clears throat> Honestly, though. Oh, Andy, what did you say? Let's play peek a bit. Defense down, pick choice. kick. Oh, yeah, that's a 7,000 damage Engine attack. Choice. This is without any cards. Is P5 Narcrawler just a good alternative? I failed getting pickles. She, she will do just fine. I do want to mention she's not as good. This is something that is important to understand, okay? She's not as good simply because if you want our, if you want to be able to get the crawler's damage boost, it's going to cost you five actions a lot of times, right? Unless you get lucky with the card fusion, you are going to need a total of five actions to get the Moxie she needs to actually get there. It's rough, okay? It's really rough. And most likely you're just going to use her as a dispel bot. All right, there we go, the premium card, stage six. In stage six, you will unlock the premium card. All right, there we go, we, we got that, that in. <clears throat> Nothing this time, I'm gonna make this guy good. Make sure it works. Oh God, I was so depressed when I was looking through the cards I had. It's like, oh my God, what is this dog shit made, I made? <laughs> Malinia reminded of Persona 5 I had a cool I mean she kind of she literally is inspired by that aesthetic, right? And the red black theme of her. You can tell it's straight out straight out of that character. There's like a specific character in Persona 5 that looks like her, right? With that color scheme. Stack at 25. We really see big burst damage for this. Uh, what is the 25? What was stage 25? Stage 25. 
Oh, it's the boss that heals? Okay, I have this right now. So, earlier I was showing other people, right? So, after you clear the achievement, which asks you to clear the retail stage, the farming stage, 15 times, which takes you two days to clear because you all have 10 entries, right? You will unlock a new team card. This team card gives you infinite amount of stacking ultimate damage. Now, if you use it, you consume it. But if you don't use it, you keep it. And with that card, you can easily do 100,000 damage, which is also, you know, certain ego. Need that as well. Yeah, it's going to take a day. Or you can just have like four character all have their single target ultimate ready and one shot the boss that works as well <laughs> we're gonna do with the other way once i have more established card i'm gonna take her off and i am putting on eagle we are going budget this one and we're going budget with this one look at that this is beautiful and we can start with ultimate spam now hello pickle <clears throat> how to put a pickles properly still don't know how to use his passive effective wins steel eye too and yeah, just 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 let him sit right just let him sit <laughs> just let him sit okay please stop doing this me damn it why am i doing this stop clicking the wrong button i mean you can check out my video right you can check my video i have some explanation of his basic stuff, but uh, I, I guess I didn't explain. I guess I didn't explain before I uh, before I3, but you also shouldn't be sitting on I2 with him. You should look to get his I3. Anyhow, so <clears throat> let me take this down. Wait, what? Anyhow, so. <clears throat> what is this called in English? This is called uh, something? Actually, what is this called in English? I have no idea. The special card. Oh, well, I guess that works. Anyway, so we just put that on, right? Let's clear that one stage in the <clears throat> retail. And we're going to put that, grab those stacking cards. These are good stacking cards. This is called Action Bonus. This is like one of the strongest sets that persist persist throughout UTTU. Wow. So many things that I haven't seen. But this time with the three what do you call it? One, two, and three. This time with the ultimate start, this is a strong burst that makes life quite a bit easier. Pick Light 3 is pretty impactful. Yeah, yeah. I mean all the new ones, their ISUs are mostly impactful. Mostly impactful. When should I use his ult? How many stacks should I have before using his ult? You just need one stack, it doesn't matter. You just need one stack of it, nothing else. Wait a second, they got frozen? What happened here? Oh, you flag one stack of cold on a random enemy when the caster is attacked by mass damage. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh well. Single target kicks, so we can. <laughs> Look at that! Big damage. I've already said that Sotheby doesn't need a body. Oh, we got all three. That's great. So now we can put some stacking stuff on Melinia, right? And now you can see the stage three. I have the yellow one, and now at level three, I have yellow one at sixteen chance. I'm now at level 3, I have yellow one at 16 chance. Not yellow. Wait, actually, it is yellow. The next one is orange. My brain stopped. Okay. At level 3, I have yellow one at 16% chance. The card go away every UTTU reset. Yes. Every patch, there is going to be UT new UTTU. Everything changes. The gimmicks, the cards. Most of the card persist, but they're going to get rid of some. They're going to add some more. So, uh, something to think about. Let me put on this. <clears throat> so they can get this one. It doesn't really matter. None of those matters. 
uh, we'll throw this on Eternity, I guess. A quick high level skill or... Eh, yeah, let's do that. I'm not afraid of you. You are just a pile of cards. Oh, I thought the more stack I have, the more multiplier damage on these. Oh, no, it has nothing to do with it. You, it just consumes one stack of it. What is this? Nothing, okay. Uh, it just consumes one stack of it. And after... What it does is that... It's give the buff. So without it, the buff is... So after stage 30, there isn't any point in collecting cards. Yeah, I mean, there's no point. You just do the stage for the achievement at that point. You farm retail for achievement if you haven't got all of them. There is another state. There is a special weak thing that is more challenging, supposedly, but most time they're not that much challenging. So you should be fine with the amount of card you get for uh, stage 30. Anyhow, back to Pickle. So the way with his ultimate works, right? His ultimate has a 30% damage bonus for the team, which increases with his Nothing portrait. Unexpected. But if you have his passive on, instead of two turns, it lasts three turns. What is this? Uh... Okay, nothing. <clears throat> and outside of going from two turns to three turns, he also gets one free moxie because of the passive itself, which means he'll only need four moxies, right? So. <laughs> this is the well prepared for you. It's not that important to get Pickle's skills out, to be honest, right? It's more important to get his ultimate. And sometimes get his dispel. His skill's really strong, I'll give you that much, but like it's not as big of a deal. If you try to move move his card and lose some multipliers from moving, but in that process you save his passive, which gave him more moxies and faster faster rotations, right? It's really up to how you want to play, honestly speaking. So stage 8, we're so close to stage 12, and then we can... <coughs> got a few things. Look at this, so this is the sweet dream, I can use this with Millennia. Mm. I think. So, do I do this? Let's do this. Do I love 60 units for ETT? No, you don't. Absolutely not. You can literally clear this shit with Inside 2 stuff. You know? You can clear this stuff with Inside 2. You don't even need Inside 3 to clear it. It's so easy. You can clear this with 3 and 4 stars. Okay? As long as your card gimmicks are good, you do not need. Three. Yeah, so. As long as your, like, your gimmick's good, the cards synergize with each other, you don't even need to run, like, the complete set of a 5-6 star. How many teams do I need? Three? One? You only need one team. Why would you need three teams? <laughs> you literally only need one team. Oh, I see some bleeding creature actually creative to you with four star. Maybe you should try that. Yeah. The mode itself is very focused on gimmicks. As long as the character gimmick works out well with the card, you're good to go. You know, you're good to go. Good to go. Is the worst to get our 10 on pickles? I know his damage is good. I three first. You want I 10 pretty much everyone, R10, because like. R9 and R... There is a huge boost in damage from R9 to R10. Also, let me, the next part I want to talk about, uh, we finished 12, right? So, I think that was after stage 12. This should be stage 13. What? Oh, stage 9 was the one that unlocked everything? I thought it was stage 12. Anyway. After stage 9, you will unlock all the slots and be able to equip 2 cards per character plus 1 team effect card on Virgin. There we go. <clears throat> is R10 the last great expansion? Yes, it is. 
The reason I always suggest Artin first is because assuming you actually have the uh, what do you call it? Assuming you actually have what it takes for the wait, what's from? Oh, you actually take it the 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 time gated material for R10. Then R10 is so much cheaper, right? If you have the time gated material, R10 is so much cheaper. This is a fun side to play, by the way. After R10 is ex Art after R10 is not that expensive until like R13, but. The problem is, right? Even for a great The problem is just you can't get even the pay to wins have limited amount of access to casket. I'm pay to win. I have limited amount of access to casket. So going beyond 10 is going to be hard. Thanks for the vice I appreciate no problem. Assuming global there isn't anything that need level 60. I mean, even CN doesn't need anything level 60. I'm with the note. Leveling past I I three level thirty is ridiculously expensive. Ridiculously expensive. But also look at this. This is the fun set to run with Millennia. <laughs> I love it. You just literally only use Millennia. You put the stacking on her, and she just burns through everything. It's awesome. So. so many things that I haven't seen. Ding ding dong, Perfect ding ding dong. Conventional choice. I have no idea what's going on in CN except character releases. Well, talking about that, I'm planning to do a quick overview of the new characters kit because so we are getting right now. Oh, I don't like this because uh, I don't think actually no I can't it, it can survive awesome so it can survive this we'll do this and we get her back all back right now in the CM right uh, they they're releasing four characters as a patch the first two already came out and it has been proven what I guess was correct the way the 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 two characters interact is that even though they're of the same element they have the synergy they have synergy within burning. Oh, what do you mean this? Well, one, on. two, three. There we go. <laughs> Which cards were the stacking again? Uh, I'll show you a bit. I, I will be making a like at the end of this. I will be making a guide about cards, right? And for that part of the guide, this is so annoying. I didn't get my ultimate back up. Because then we had no moxie for the seal. Anyhow. But the stacking one is. It's, it's the one you get after clearing UTT for X amount of time. Uh, let me choose this one, this one, and this one. It's the one you get after clearing the retail for 15 times. That one. Increase your ultimate damage for 20% every time you hold every action you hold it. Okay, as long as you hold it in your hand, its damage potential increase exponent uh, increase by 20% every time, and it becomes something absolutely insane. Spadodia remind me of Hitchmi nor Epo, so she must pull. Oh well, she's the must pull for me as well. First time watching your live. Welcome to the stream. All right, this one singing in the rain. This is a really good one. In general, because it lets you act one more time. One random incantation per ca uh, not this one. It was the <clears throat> when entering battle, right? One random incantation per character gets plus one rank, and then every second round it plus one. So if your character have high incantation stuff, this is where you want to go. <clears throat> but obviously, I'm not looking at those type of character. I'm looking at ultimate spam, so I'm gonna use this one. <clears throat> Should make another tier list. I am going to make another tier list. However, it's going to take some time. So, 
Uh, every time you see a wall, you just look at the wall, right? You look at the wall. At the end of every two rounds, attacking me with the most HP, perform charge one time after three time, unleash one power attack at multiple targets. There are three stacks, cast powerful shot. No ally present deals 30% increased damage when neither ally leaves the field, enters short circuit state for two rounds and takes 75% damage for three rounds, cannot act. So, basically, I mean, this thing is pretty tanky, so like you kill one of the enemy, right? You kill this thing, which shouldn't be too hard. And then we turn onto the wall, right? And then we burst it down, and then we kill the other guy. Basically, shouldn't be anything more complex. Hi, Steam Max. I love you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate. Where's my parasocial folks in the chat? <laughs> the show's on. Uh. <clears throat> Even for a great Clear 034 first try with ease using I3 level 40 Centurion, I3 level 20 Eternity, I3 level 5 Corn Bloom, and I3 level 5 Bloom. Yeah, like if you have I3, it really isn't that difficult. This mode is just not designed to be that difficult, it's more designed to be gimmicky and fun. Mummy, Mummy, are you serious? Where is my uh, where's my Moxie? Anyhow, anywho, anywho. So since we're gonna move anyway, so we're gonna do this. <clears throat> well, all the cards we have collected disappear in the next patch. Yes, that's correct. You are losing all of them. You will have to start again. I was kind of hoping this would be more of an end game mode. Now it kind of seems like a game with no remotely difficult. You will have. You will. You will find your remotely difficult end game. Also, wait. Did I get taunted? Where's? Huh? What happened to the damage? What? Huh? Huh? What is this? <clears throat> How could that? It, why did I do no damage to it? What happened there? I reached level 30 yesterday, but I fucked up the fame card stacking up. I need Lineal and Rexmas for my DPS for Eagle to one tap before the stage ended. Oh well. I mean, just take a few tries. It's fine. It's a fun mode in opening, so. I think you can take a Did I? What? Are you serious? Are you serious? How did the targeting go to the box? What do you mean I hit the box? I actually did? I hit the box? No way, no way, no way, no way, no, no flipping way. How do I see this? Uh... Was it here? No way! I actually hit the box. Are you serious? How did that even happen? The yes. moment of it. Oh, thank you, fair for mana. Very, very nice. Uh, lo I love you. <laughs> Thanks for running. But um, how did I hit the box? What? What? Literally, what happened there? Literally, what even happened there? My God. <clears throat> what is this? Stage 13. Nothing unexpected. My targeting got moved around the UTD as well. Although I could have clicked something wrong as well. I don't... Wait, is this the stage? Oh, this is not the stage. This, there's only one way. It should be stage 15. This, I, I, I believe this should bring up a lot of people's what do you call it? Uh, a lot of people's PTSD, right? Because this is usually the first wall you will hit in progression, which is the Psycube analysis place. 142 watch, 19 likes. Come on, guys. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> 29. Wow, nice. Oh, yeah. Perma spam eternity out. It's fun, honestly. Like I said, there's like multiple ways to play. 
So this thing self-destruct, right? Yeah, self-destruct, your genesis damage, 70 percent up remaining, air body fuel. The countdown decreased by one on each attack received, right? You just kill them. It doesn't really matter. This is like so easy. Time with no even for a great Wait a second, is my Twitch? Uh, I use the global cards that make you only have three max maximum linear alts every turn. Yeah, I mean, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm having fun. But we'll switch to lower budget once we farm UTT card, and I'll show you guys some of the most insane combinations you can do in this game. I did once, and Pool got Pickles and Lydia, so I have guaranteed again. I need 35 more for 70 pull save turn. You know. It bothers me a little that you guys are over here showing off how good your pool has been after I did 140 pulls and drained my entire, like actually the entire saving on the account for a pickle that I'm not going to be using because, you know, I told people to skip. That's kind of fucked up, you know, guys? That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> I know what shows on, Howard. <laughs> this is the gift well prepared for you. <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, some something I want to let you guys know while we're here and progressing through the place where I don't make tutorial out of. I'm here to say, hi, Bam, I'm probably because I also know Pickle. Well, look, not that important of a character overall. It's great, help your DPS, but like overall, it's, it's all right. It's my 110 bunny got scuffed. Ha, huh. rip. I guess some people get lucky, some people don't. And we are definitely not on the lucky side today. And I do want to let you guys know that I have some planning. So, I didn't get into ZZZ close beta, but I also got into it, if you know what I mean. And with that being said, I will be streaming tomorrow on both YouTube and Twitch for ZZZ. And I will be running a $100 giveaway on Twitch to celebrate my birthday, which is the day of the ZZZ second beta release, which is crazy. But hey, it's my birthday. I'm, I'm glad I can play ZZZ this time around. <clears throat> and on top of that, uh, let me just do this, this, and this better. And on top of that, this time I will be running the giveaway on PayPal, which means the global audience can all join this giveaway. Yeah, just wanted you to, just wanted you guys to know that. <clears throat> oh, thank you, celebrity pay. Almost there. <clears throat> Still saving since I got Eternity on Soul Blue Banner. I'm planning you for two, uh, Tooth Fairy Champion and Shaman. I'm gonna need a miracle probably. Oh, you look. You cannot be permanently in bad luck. What is this? <clears throat> and it's Boxy. Oh, okay, that's cool. Boxy plus one. I like that. Oh, wait. I can do uh, this. Actually. Let's do this, this, and this. There we go. Hey, first man. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Will tomorrow's stream be the same time as today? I don't know. So, I will make sure I set up schedule on my uh, YouTube channel. I will put that exact time. I need to know when the close beta of ZZZ actually opens because I do not know that right now to the exact time. Time zone and all that stuff. I need to look that up. I will set that. I will set that up later after the stream while also making you to guide and all that stuff there's quite a bit of thing to do right? and you can pretty much just look at that i will also try to throw on a twitch schedule as well i don't know how exactly that works but i will try to throw on a schedule on twitch for that i will be streaming for the next four days about zzz since you know it's a four-day weekend actually no uh, now, Monday I have to work, I think. Do I have Monday off? I don't know. Good question. <laughs> there we go. At the start of it, this is, this is the Porrain. It lets you move more. So, you, you get one more action and two more incantations. Which is really good if you're, again, using those. First time getting six digit damage in the game. I did it on 30th floor for, of UTT. Well, you need to do that much damage is you, if you only have one carry to actually beat that stage. I am not afraid of 
Oh shit, I forgot. So this stage, right? <clears throat> this is where you have to pull out some more some more stuff. And uh, <clears throat> we're going budget with this. Alright, we're going budget. She's the main carry. He's just here being chilling. Mm. And then we throw Enter the battle mox not so this one. Alright. Wait, where's that one? Huh? Oh, I, I don't get it until after the stage. Oops, I forgot. <clears throat> We're running against. Let's run this. All right, so we're gonna be doing this and that, and we throw this on her and this on her. <clears throat> there we go. Who's better, Shaman or Pickles? Shaman is stronger in terms of damage, in my opinion, but Pickle is better at not needing to move that much. Since we're around now, you're relevant in CN. Not yet, not yet. Still good, but. Alright, this is going to be the first stage I will be making a stage guide for because this stage gives people PTSD, I believe. Because um, in case you guys didn't know, this thing has this stacking mechanics, right? Uh, it will uh, stack sentience every single turn. And let's see. So if caster have five stack of sentience, spend all stack to dispel control from the caster, cast ultimate one time and transform to the demonic mothman. So you don't want this to happen. So you want the dispeller here, which is why pickle is good. But I'm going to be using axe as my as my dispeller for this stage specifically. And let's uh, make this part of the guide. Stage 15 is the first real difficult fight for a lot of people. This should probably bring people some kind of PTSD because in the stage, you will be doing the same exact same fight as the Psycube farming stage. Except enemy also self-destruct. The most important part about this stage is that you bring a Dispeller. And for this case, I have brought him. He can dispel status up and positive status from the enemy. And I will show you when this is useful. <clears throat> Love that reckless do I 3 suddenly become broke. <laughs> it's just that, I mean, you know, you know it's crazy. Sometimes your uh, every choice will affect the outcome. Sometime, you know, all your stuff, all your saving just disappears when you I threw a character. Don't worry. Let's have a cup of tea. Oh, I just killed him with the knife. I mean look. They're not the strongest, okay? But there are people who struggle. They don't have really built characters. They don't have... I have Resonance 9 on my characters, okay? They don't have Resonance 9s. Right? I'm just trying to let them know, you know, if, if they really suffer. Look, I'm going to one-shot that Mothman if I want. If I run my Molinia here. But we're not doing that, right? So... It only has this much HP, like it cannot survive me right now, but that's not the point. That's not the point. I just killed him with Centurion and the Corn Bloom. Yeah, stage 40 is harder for me than stage 50. Okay, so like, it really depends on how much DPS you have. If you don't have enough DPS to kill kill it in, in turn, uh, within 5 turns and you don't bring cleanse, it could be problematic. Could be. Notice the word. Uh, <clears throat> Just a reminder. Watch your steps. Oh, this be mixed up. You should be fine, right? This is the gift. Well prepared for you. Find the machines on the ground. Blue Poach is not ready for six star ego, so they made her a four star. The thing with four star and stuff, like in this game. Lower star units are no cap, stronger than most Just of the higher star know. units. Watch your if they are given the stats of higher, 
entire unit, they're gonna be ridiculous. Do you have cake now? I'm on a diet. <laughs> this is the well, don't worry, that full clear everything in the event. That's good, that's good. It's a fun mode if you know what you're doing. I see, like, uh, sure, if you like, just bring your team with fully built stuff, and it's gonna be easy, but some people don't have fully built. Alright, so now it's three, it's a great time. The Moss Man has this passive called Sentience. It will gain one sentience per stat. It will gain one sentience per turn, and this gives it damage bonus and damage reduction. When it stack up to five times, it when it stack when it stack up to five times, the boss will use his ultimate and transform into a stronger form. So when it stack up, you should have a dispeller here, and you use this dispeller to remove that. So the damage reduction is gone, and everything else is gone. It's quite uh, this, this is wrong. So, okay. so if you you if you bring a t you, I can't talk right now. If you bring a character with dispel Every and just dispel this buff, it's gonna make the life a lot easier. Or if you're just trying up to kill the boss, that works as well. Cool. As you can see, the buff is gone. Alright, there we go. I'm just waiting for stage 30 to be defeated. Stage 30 is easy if you just like have multiple DPS and run the stacking. There is like an easier way if you have the special ultimate stacking one, but obviously you don't have access to it. You know, run out, right? So I think crit team is the strongest now because 37. Uh, yes, the new character is also crit. There is speculation that the new character, right? The new character Spethodia will have a specific card that will also be useful by Lydia and if it become a good if it's a good card if it's a good card by this girl look at this emote with Odia this girl so if if her psyche works out with Lydia Lydia could be to could get a boost in the tier list just saying oh and oh we're ready we're ready we're ready after his oh why did I do that after you clear stage 15 your UT2 retail is fully leveled up and you have 26% chance to get the orange card. This is when you can start farming. Obviously, try to know what you're doing and sometimes you will get special stages. The special stages will have specific requirements and if you clear it, it will let you have bonus rewards. Of course, I'm not looking for any of the stuff, but um, that sucks. They're all comprehensive bonus. <laughs> And if you just farm here, you will get much stronger. I will assist you to keep the battle under control. Wait, PvP update for some fun. Uh, I prefer this game not having PvP, honestly speaking. Like, a game with this level of power difference and it's gapping really fast between different level of pro trays probably shouldn't have PvP. Unless you want to be like Tower of Fantasy. <laughs> Also, there's a lot of RNG involved here, you know. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> do you think they will ever give I3 to 4-star and under? No! The, like, the 4-star and 3-stars have such overpowered kits. If they are allowed to have I3, they will break the game. They are, ironically, stronger than the 5-stars. If they're allowed to shine, you know, if they're allowed to be tanky, they're allowed to have higher stats. Isn't it better to farm up to stage 20 so they give you one more retail stack? What? It does? What do you mean? Wait a second. I've always farmed up to 15. Okay, let's move on then. Let's move to 20 and see if there's one more stack. I didn't know that. Oh, right. It looks red after you finish 20, I guess. Is that a stack? Is that a stack? Is that a stack? I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> we, we can move forward. We can move forward. But um, let's see how that goes. Let's uh, let's let's push the stages then. We're going to stay budget now, maybe. Farm card cap is at twenty six, right? I think so. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But well, we'll push to thirty just to be safe. We're having sorry for the guide. And uh, we have team two, team one. So now we, do you see this? This is a really nice thing. Wait, now I think about it. Is this function implemented into regular stages as well? So let's see, I go to, uh, I go to this, right? 
Uh, it's not implemented. No, it's not implemented. Only UTT for now. But later on, it, this exists in all the stages, right? This exists. This exists in all the stages. If I remember correctly, 1.3 is when they pushed out the mass quality of life update. I started farming card after stage 29. I mean, what's the point of even farming card at that point? You literally basically beat the entire thing. Little finger picker and pick face jack will alternate gain status, which protect them from getting negative status and reduce their damage taken to one. You see this thing? Cannot be dispelled. Such annoying. You just hit the other guy. Anyhow. Anywho, moving on. <clears throat> What's this? Actually, what did I prepare my guide for? So I have specific guide for stage. Um, huh? Where's my guide? I have specific guide for. This is Pickle's guide. That's the wrong file. I have specific guide for 15, 20, 25, 26, and 30 prepared. Okay. So before. Actually, let's stop using the bucket one because I want to kill them fast. Yeah, let's do that. I clear 30 and I can confirm that 26 is the highest for now. Okay, awesome. Easy so now we can start from that, right? Whoops. An accident. If just fame card can be used in limbo. Oh <coughs> Do you want to see 400,000 HP on the boss in limbo? Because Every choice will you will get 400,000 HP on limbo Easy. bosses Easy. if fame card can be used in there. Probably 600, 700,000 actually. <laughs> Now PvP only killed the game, reverse 999 is totally fine with it. Exactly, that's the soul of anime gacha game nowadays, you know? That's the soul of it. <laughs> to be enjoyable and non-competitive. Nah. <clears throat> the quality update, no, quality update is 1.3. They will continue adding more quality of, of life stuff. In 1. they just announced, in 1.6, they will, uh, uh, they will, just they will reminder. add the features. Huh. Just a reminder. They will add the feature where you can, what do you call it? Where you can share your uh, wilderness. So you can, after that, you can actually share your wilderness. And in the wilderness, you can take, you can copy other people's code, and then it automatically fills in. Wilderness also no longer requires all the island to be attached to the main line, so it can be as creative as you want. Wait, that's not the right target. I know what this is. Eh. Huh. So, wow. huge amount of quality of life are still coming. What's the best for, uh, fame cards here? I will make a guide about the best, the best fame card combo. There are like, let me see. So there are four combos we had for 1.1. There is two that focus on crit and one-shotting enemy. So there's like actually so two of them I call them the ass whooping combo. Every choice will affect what it does other. is in there. <clears throat> you can either start with your ultimate or you start with all three-star incantation. Either way, you're gonna start with tons of damage. And you can pretty much run any one stage, one stage combat easily through with that setup. An accident. People don't like losing if there's PvP, salty people will just leave the game. And some won't even share strats like how it is now. I mean, not just that, right? Not just that. Overall, like, the goal of PvP in games from a developer's perspective is to force people to pull for new character if they want to stay ahead in leadership, uh, in leaderboard. That itself is a relatively annoying practice and only make the pay to wins happy. And not just any pay to win. My level of pay to win is like I can probably get like 100 plays or 200 plays with how many game people playing this game. I'm so happy I got Pickle in 110 pools. Well, congratulations. Not very different from mine. I got mine 140. Not very different. You know? L basically the same thing. Basically the same thing. I can almost guarantee both Tooth Fairy and Changeling. You never pulled or something? That's that's crazy. Alright, let's go in. Incantation bonus. Ultimate boss. So this is one of the more lucrative set. 
These ones are fun, so this is a really good one if you want to just have someone tangle the tits. You throw this on, and you throw this on, right? You throw this on, this two, and they just automatically taunt the enemy and while healing back, right? And damage reduction. It's crazy. This one, I don't really use this one. No, I don't use this one. This is a good set in contention bonus. You can, this is one of the set that, you know, you start with, you start with tons of three stars, but let's run this one since I'm running ultimate. This leading one is single target ultimate crit rate plus 50%, right? Uh, there is another one that's called TTT, or not TTT, it, it's the, it's a bot, it's the TV girl. It converts actual crit chance to crit damage, which is insane. So. Kick, kick that. I've been using insta alt card combo except for the stage 30. Yeah, that one you need to stack. You need to stack. It's hard to actually kill the boss in one turn, in every turn without stacking stuff. Hey! Did someone just spell my name right? I, I think I saw a Steam Bun axe up there by Loha Warp. Thank you for spelling my name right. It has been a struggle in this channel. You have people Shows spell my name power. right. <laughs> uh, Hi, having Even hopscotch, brief new world, and luxurious. What psyche should I buy? I have Ali, Centuria, Millennia, and Regulus. Honestly speaking, the healer one, which is called the 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 Inquisitive Deer, it's probably the best call. buy for I've you. Unless, you take it. so this is the AOE one. This is the Single target one, both of them give you tons of extra damage, right? Penetration 50, crit rate 50. <clears throat> Let's see if we get anything good. Oh, okay, so this is a good one. These two are the, the, the crit one, this one. When crit rates, the crit rate converts to crit damage. An actual critical rate every two out. This one stack crit rate and crit damage per turn. And this one is a super good one if you have problem with debuffs. You just throw this on anyone that can spend alt, but not the main DPS. Yeah, so we're gonna run this one for now since we're going to run stacking. I just saw someone at Discord one phase stage 30 with Centurion. That's Centurion. You start with three level tier three incantation. What do you expect? Like, you have a three incantation three start like <laughs> what did you expect to happen and to be not dying <laughs> Candy. Candy. Uh, <clears throat> I got really lucky I got South B and Annaline 80 summons hit it on Malinia and got sent so I was guaranteed the pickles since I got him in three pulls and changed things banner will almost six days well good luck Thank you, ha. Huh? I was uh, about to type a sentence, but I forgot there's no new one when you pass in Turkey. Oh well. Anyhow, I mean, I, I, I still appreciate your ability to actually spell my name because uh, most people do not have that skill. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, everybody, happy Thanksgiving. My mom actually cooking some turkey. But I'm on diet, so I don't eat late. I eat only one meal a day, right now, and I avoid any form of carbs, except Red Bulls. Sometimes, when I have to finish a video, I drink Red Bulls. <laughs> There's not much way around that. What to do with the dupe cards? Well, you can fuse them. If you have like cards you don't want, you can fuse them in the Fame Card Binder. What are must-buy items at UTD Market? Everything you can clear up. Every look. So if you really don't feel like finishing the entire I event, the just fall. skip the skin. I've been there. Just skip you the skin. Take it. Uh, why did this happen? This is like the one I don't want for the most because it doesn't really stack. This sucks. This this is the one I want higher rank. This is the one I want higher rank. Come on, man. <clears throat> that can't be healthy. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm 200 pounds, okay? I was 210 pounds. I just got down to 200, 200 pounds and pretty happy about that. I'm going to continue to lose weight. Until I... Oh, this is a super good one, right? This is the super good one. The Hand of the Dealer. When the caster enter battle, battle, all incantation game plus 2 start. This is the one you put on if you want a triple incantation 3 start. 
The dark one is also good. Nothing unexpected. For now. One, two, three. We had hot pots for Thanksgiving. Oh, I miss hot pot. But again, our hot pot are like oh, you can eat buffet at least the one near my home. And yeah, buffet is not something you want to do during a diet. I'm on a pretty strict diet because I want to lose some weight. Shows on, Plan A. Time with the note. Even for and good luck on future salmon. Also, two roaring mouth adds up to a lot of salmon. Yes, it does. Eating one meal a day and drinking. Look, look. I don't usually drink Red Bull. The only time I drink Red Bull was yesterday. I was trying to finish the pickle video. It still came up. It was supposed to come out an hour before the banner, but it actually came out a few minutes after the banner. You know, it happens. But like. When I'm eating right, I'm eating ch either chicken breast, shrimp, or <clears throat> tuna. Plus lettuce and some sauce. What's up, Steam? How's UCT you even going for it? It's so much fun. Oh my god, look at that jackpot. I got this, and I got this. Now we can blow enemy up with this. This is, <clears throat> this is the renowned blow enemy up combo. Obviously, you want more copy of this, but... Uh, <clears throat> Let's just show the power of this in the next stage. <clears throat> Let me put on this. Uh, actually, uh, let's switch team first because this is the team where we experiment stuff, right? So we have <clears throat> this this one, right? At start of every second round, I don't know this one, actually. There we go. <clears throat> this gives us more actions. And for her, we're going to do a quick ass whooping on her. I don't need the speller right now, so you go out and um, who do I put on here? Oh yeah, yeah, actually. Shall I ask the enemy for Perfect. Tactics? Go away, go in, Me? and uh, there we go. We can do this, which is increased ultimate plus uh, TTT, <clears throat> and then for the silt bee, do I have a healer one or no? Is this the healer one? Mm, nope, I don't have any healer ones. This is a revive, which is good. <clears throat> eh, screw that, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is a good combo. <clears throat> Only beef jerky for life. I mean, that's a lot of salt. That's a lot of salt. Try colons. I actually had it before. I, I mean, I'm Chinese. We eat all kind of stuff. We eat all kind of stuff. Things like Americans don't even dare to put their face close to. <laughs> Now, let me introduce to you, this is called the Fast Ass Whooping 1. So, the Fast Ass Whooping 1 consists of seeing the ring. The main goal here is actually for the extra incantation. Wait, what's... No, this is not one. Okay, I was... Huh? This one, I was... I equipped one one. Right, let's start this one again. Let's start with this one. Okay, so, this set is called the Quick Ass Whooping. You are running poor rain, which at the start of every second round, you get one actual card and incantation limit plus two right so you will see why this is useful and every single character that's relevant in the attack you ideally want to put this two on you have this one this is called the hand of the dealer hand of dealer make all the card at the first round a rank three card and this one the top of the wait list will give your incantation a 60 percent damage boost which means in turn one, if let's say you have two of the character, uh, three of the characters card, you will see something crazy happen, like this. And that is why I call it the quick ass whooping. Imagine if you have more characters that can do this. Ooh, that ass whooping would be insane. Look at that. And you have a bunch of rank 2 as well afterwards. Supposedly, you, you, the other character would have the rank 3s as well, right? So, and you would just use them on the second round. There we go. That is the quick ass whooping set.
it's very very fun on the shorter stages <clears throat> but i don't need six good characters or is four enough four is enough right now with eternity eventually in six and uh, after a certain point you need eight the certain point is patch 1.4 <laughs> Van will become a K-pop idol because of the strict diet. Oh well. Nah, K-pop can't even eat chicken breast. They don't eat anything. They're actually just starving to death. What is this? Attack the caster is attack to reply. 100% Genesis damage, that doesn't matter. Hoi. Actually, let's do a defense reduction into that, into that. Oh wait, I have two aliens. Look at all this, look at all this insane. What wrestle your ego at? Resonance 9. We're not running Resonance 10 on ego, okay? Even well like me still gotta manage the resources. Now you can't. Uh, do Malinia and Lee Healer for Beast Team, then Nanero, Eternity, Pickle, Healer, on, or Eternity Solo. But sure, I threw Malinia first, Eternity. Yeah, that's pretty good advice. This, there is a huge difference before and after, so. Imagine my uh, corn balloon also have that set. Ooh. Look at this shit. Look at this quick ass whooping. Uh, why is my corn balloon in damage? <laughs> why eat food when millions of applauds could already sustain you? Exactly. Exactly. K pop sustain of the attention. Oh, Steam by stream. Yes, we are streaming. We're going all the way down in limbo and we're going, I mean, not limbo. UT2 and we're going to make some guides. <coughs> I think 20, wait, was 20 the freaking digger? Yeah, 21, 20 sucks. I am not going to be, here's the thing. This set actually cannot be used in 20, which is unfortunate, but you just can't use it on 20 uh, because do this how much defense do they even have this is a uh, level 20 uh, relative defense thing. okay let's do this all right <clears throat> but yeah digger digger fight sucks i hate digger so much i hope digger die in the game <laughs> i am a i'm a certified digger hater okay just one just gonna make sure that's clear. I am a certified digger hater. I do not like that character at all. Not a big fan of hippie in general. Don't forget to wrestle, wrestle now your millennia and eternity and only. You gotta get them to 10. Yo, wait, what? No, like, digger as a character, right? He literally just struck the entire street doing crime all the time and just being absolutely annoying as hell have you played Garrett Intel? yes i played on you like chapter 15 or something of the underworld where the vampire world is it just got too grindy and too many content i couldn't i also hate digger especially gold digger uh that's two different things but yeah this freaking stage i hate this stage so much like this stage is so dark shit the way they designed it as well like, look at this. Look at this. Uh, when dying, if claiming intruder is not in paralysis, recover 20% of the health. And then the round can correct position for one round. When fan is attacked, the stat is transferred to them. You have to attack Digger to transfer this to him. And then after that, you can actually attack it. This itself already costs extra actions. And this turn... You have to kill this thing like twice. After taking action, Fan lose five percent of current HP. When dying, Fan lose thirty percent max. And this character recovers thirty percent. Like this fight is so annoying. Digger is completely immune. In this third part, this remind me of some other fight I have in other games, where you just have to attack something else that's not a boss, and you just have to get just. You just have to wait for so long to finish. I mean, the story digger only takes makes bubble and make mess of everything. Exactly. 
I hate this fight so much. I didn't like it when it was in C and I don't like it right now. Uh, anyhow, we're gonna make a guide of this. <clears throat> also, this set can't be used because, um, yeah, the problem with that set is, uh, <clears throat> what card? Let's run All Eternity right. here. Just one thing. I will be home no. by 10 p.m. Uh, I'm thinking of who should I run as the main DPS, right? I, I don't really want to... I don't really want to run my weaker team here, but... Be prepared. Oh, you know what? You know what? We, 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 can, we can finish farming this and see if we can find more good stuff. So this is another... Okay, this is the second set, which is great. But these are also super important. Let's grab this one. These are the stacking stuff, right? This is the stacking crit. This is the stacking damage. And this is the crit into crit damage. Let's do this one. Actually, wait. Was, was there any special missions? I didn't pay attention. Let's see. Uh, no. So double the reward. Okay, this one. We're doing this one because we want that double the reward. And, oh, by the way, you can repeat. Pretty sure. No, I can't. Are you serious? Anyway. <clears throat> Some interesting words. I don't know. I like what I read. I didn't get him. <laughs> yeah, he's... The character... Digger as a character is just not for the fan of the heart. Well, eventually she will be replaced by Black Dwarf, but Charlie is a star. Eternity is mineral. Charlie P3 can replace Lady Other. Yes, and also remember, Did I Charlie can... Okay. Uh, bad? Bad. Uh, bad? Bad. Bad run. Double reward, but nothing good. We're talking about pickles, but yeah, no. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Pickles don't get replaced. What are you talking about? Uh,. <clears throat> Ultimate bonus, let's try this. Incantation bonus again. Wait, what the fuck? What you mean? What do you mean, what the fuck? <laughs> I will assist you to keep the battle under control. Pickle can do a lot of damage. That is true. Boom. Shaka. Laka? So beautiful. Like the. How many damage did she do in the last turn? Like 30k in just one turn opener? Why am I doing this third one? Two. Three. For the long run, for now, just pick two details for different. After two, to, to be exactly right now, just get two different elements and you're good to go. Are you telling me to invest into one of each element, having one mental and one reality? One mental, one reality is something you worry about much later into the game, not right now. Getting one of each element is more important. Bump. Did I meet your expectations? But yeah, any advice on this? I lost 50 50. Two Druvius on Pickles Banner. Should I just continue or should I just accept Druvius to save my guarantee? I would say save your guarantee. You know, like Pickle is just not that important. Oh, look at that. Another one. Just not that important of a character, honestly speaking, right? Ultimate Burst, Incantation, uh, Ultimate Boost. <clears throat> um, let me think. This is pretty useless, right? This is pretty useless. <clears throat> it only happened once, critical rate. This is a good one. If you're looking for that crit, but crit stacking is usually better in the place. This is like pretty useless healing one as well. I think I'll just pick up this one for any additional ultimate bonus. In case I run the, uh, the special ultimate team as well. Millennia is Beast, Minor, uh, Mental, Eternity is Minor, <coughs> Minor Reality, this is fun for you right now. Yeah, exactly. Like, a lot of times you don't have to worry about too much when you're playing this game. As long as you know what you're doing, you can beat the game with relatively 
low investment, honestly speaking. Target lost. Hey! Is it fun to fight stages in UTT retail every reset, even though the cards aren't the same as my last one, or does every run during the reset? Uh, you are supposed to fight every stage. You're supposed to fight every stage, okay? When you're resetting that retail, you're wasting chance to reset. You only get that many resets. You get the f you can fight them all. Have at least one different element. Now this consideration, top sub yes. Do I really need him? That's my question to myself. I mean, you don't really need him, but he's nice to have, especially. So like, if you're paid to one, consider it. If you're not paid to one, skip. <laughs> That's I will keep saying that. <clears throat> Condition bonus. This is like this is like one of the best defensive set, but I don't need them right now. Let me just get my good ones. Oh, and 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 I can switch this one on now, right? So, um. I got this, not this. I got this, right? I can still just switch over to this one for now. It's lower power, but hey, 40% is pretty good. This one is 50% obviously. I mean, 60% obviously, but hey, 40% is pretty good. So now we're really ass whooping now, okay? We're really ass whooping. Free to play life, yeah. <clears throat> I need to level my Charlie to pass Limbo 14 1. Yeah, I mean, a lot of characters really. Look at this, all those three stars. Look at it. Just open your eyes. Just corn boom into bam into bam. Look at that. Actually, what is the rest of this level of my um, corn boom? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Oh uh, god. Wait, what did I get out of that stage? Did I get the one I want? Uh comprehensive, comprehensive, incantation. Let's do one of the comprehensive ones for the defensive units. I can throw this on my support. Did I get the better one? I have three of this card. Are you serious? I, I'm not running counter. I can't just do this. Okay, so. <clears throat> when you're sure you don't want certain farm cards, for, for example, I have three of this and I don't want a single one, I can merge it. And by merging it, you can turn them into a equal or higher level. For orange, obviously, it's only going to be equal. But I got this one, which is also pretty useless for me personally. But hey, look, you can continue to, uh, to fuse this and just try your luck. You're playing gacha game, so why not, right? <laughs> Such a gacha brain uh, <coughs> advice. Anyhow, I look at this slide with disgust after playing reverse. It has always been. <laughs> you just wasted one reset. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, the stage we can't run this because of the stupid, stupid thing. Uh, <clears throat> the fight is too long. It's like like Phillips from Limbus Company. But anyhow, anywho, we'll throw this on. Do I have any higher level stacking? At least tier two. No, I don't have any of the stacking ones. Do I need to farm? Ah, that makes sense. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. So that's the crit, crit set on her. Uh, honestly, instead of running a support here, I would rather just run her. Be prepared. And we'll throw in the ass whooping set. <clears throat> and we'll whoop some ass <clears throat> as we go. And then I can throw... I don't have anything useful here, actually. Oh, I can level her card up, I guess. <clears throat> and then... Uh, do I need that? Uh, well, she has ultimate. She has a uh, AoE ultimate, so we can run that for penetration. And... Uh, 
Honestly, actually, let's do that. Yeah. <clears throat> We'll throw that on eternity and this one we, we don't have anything good right now we just light her out at the beginning yeah that's good run right and we're running this one which means everyone out more often cool 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 what the buffer should i use in millennia team comp Us usually baby blue baby blue if you mean just general debuffer baby blue if you mean dispel uh then either x or What's her name? Necrologist? The new character that coming up next path, which, which is called the Horopedia, is also good as a dispeller. Man, so many farm cards. This luck, man. I mean, you, you just gotta do it. Oh, I forgot to add. I forgot to add on. In certain stages and achievement, you will have this. This is the selection card. Once you get it, hopefully you already have in your mind which card you want. So you can pick up the right card to help your team become stronger. Look at that. So good at making guides. Uh, and now we make the guide for the stupid fight of Digger. The three Diggers or the crazed one. Nothing unexpected. This is the second very annoying fight. You're fighting Digger three times, and each fight have different gimmicks. Now, for the first stages, you pretty much just want to run through him. It's not that difficult. Alright, so this is the first card. We just run through him. The second one is really annoying. The third one... The third one... It's not that big of a view, it's just annoying overall. Like Listen, my friend. If you have a way to like stop his ultimate, that's good, but if you don't, it's fine as well. I'm just gonna uh, throw on the heal because I want to keep her alive. We'll throw this at it. And her ultimate is ready. Next turn, we should be first. Good, go, have a good stream, Bonnie X. Alright, have a good day, have a good day. Good luck with whatever you're doing. On the second stage, it's starting to get annoying. The annoying thing is this boss, the big robot, has this passive. It's called the correct position. The damage it takes will be fixed to zero unless you attack Digger. If you attack Digger or, you know, in this game called Troublemaking Fan, this correct position will be transferred to him so you must attack him once in the beginning of the fight and then you can drop the rest of the attack onto the boss Also, you have boxing reduction. It's really nice here. It's really annoying. So again, in the second turn, we're going to do this, and then we're going to just kill the boss. Take it easy. Even for a great. And just like that, that's done, right? That's done. And now you focus on Digger. My child, here's something fun for you. Well, next turn, not this turn, obviously. But I uh, miscalculated my damage. Didn't expect it just to die. But uh, yeah, there we go. Handy. Plan A. Handy. I know what this is. And the digger, sh you need to kill digger in two turns, by the way, or the the robot revives. So. Ah, shame on violence. <laughs> this is the gift well prepared for you. Listen, my friend. Look at this little fella. Look at him just throwing terror at you, which reduce your moxie out in the wrong. How annoying can you be? Anyway. Uh, uh, um, What's that? I hate this character, both from the story perspective and gameplay perspective. And there we go. We have finished the second round. 
for the third round, Digger will not be able to move. However, Digger will be completely invincible. It will not take any damage at all, except damage from this. Whenever you're, whenever this, the, whenever this boss moves, Digger lose. Whenever this boss moves, the Digger lose five percent of the health. Whenever you kill this boss, the Digger lose thirty percent health. Hopefully, you still have rounds left at this point, and you just have to work through that. Take it, handle it gently. I'm gonna try to kill the boss within three turns for the achievement. I didn't look at it. I didn't look at it. You need to kill Chris in three rounds if you want to achievement. I think I did. I mean, we're only seven rounds in, right? So. And as you can see, Digger is losing health as the boss attack us. You can pretty much ignore the mods, it doesn't really matter. And as you can see, your lower tier unit might be dead after a certain point if you don't have enough healing. Disarm, are you serious? The show's on, Hounds. Take it easy. This is my best formula. I'm with the note, even for a great. And as we kill both over and over, the digger will die, and the stage is finished. Hey! And you get your first selection card right here. So for my case, I'm looking for a little bit more <clears throat> stacking power team that I need for later. So I will be picking up, let's see, let me pick up the crit damage one for now. I'll pick out the other one as we go. I don't know. I Hopefully this time the footage are usable for the guy. Because last time it was not. And I think I cleared that achievement, right? Uh, defeat crazy fan within three rounds after he appears. Right. It's pretty easy. Yay. Feral chapter up to chapter 16. With only attacking contention and ultimate clear any chapter after chapter 16 and defeat two or more enemy within one round what are some of the other achievement that i haven't been looking at clear chapter 15 with only attack healing incantation and ultimate i need to look at chapter 15 huh okay So I want to do this with only a ha attack and healing. It's this one. Uh, it's easy. We, ju we just Nothing unexpected. we just maul through the boss here. Actually, we got ultimate. We have attacks, right? I know what this is. Forward. <laughs> this is the now there is a red stack instead of white stack. I don't think it matters though. I don't know. Three turns into wave start. Four more now. Oh no, it does more damage on Digger than everyone. Oh yeah, that, that boss is like 30% or something. Now we can just do this, this, this. Target found. I know what this is. I'm with the note. Even for a great When you don't handicap yourself as well, this is what game look like. You know? <laughs> oh yeah, that's the stuff. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. This is the kit well prepared for you. Honestly, maybe I should run the crit set on her, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Healing, what is healing? Never heard of it. Down. 
now there's a red stack instead of white stack. It does not matter because now there's a condition for guaranteed 5 card. I honestly don't know what it does. But anyhow, as you can see, it's dead. With only attack on ultimate. Time with the noble. Even for a great Bunk? Oh, it didn't crit. That sucks. Anyway. <laughs> Lord, take the Boom. Wait, so Eagle can deal that much damage? Should you build her? No, you should not. I have her build because I was holding back on pulling until Millennia came out. I didn't want to pull. That's why I built her. She's really squishy. She will get one shot. There we go. We got that achievement. Did I talk about the marketplace yet? I don't remember. Did we have footage for that? I think I did. Anyway. Yeah, I think I have footage for this, but I don't have to record it again. Uh, we buy the casket. So, like, if you if you care, right, you buy the skin, you need to finish the entire T2. If you don't, right now I finished 20 stages, right? If you don't care about the skin itself, right now I have completed only about 20 stages in UT2 and some achievements. I can pretty much clear out most of the shop at this point. There are, of course, some achievements hide behind some more of the retail farms. But without it, we're still very well off right now. In fact, I might be able to clear out most of this. Let's see. These are the cost. Uh, almost the wrong one. But yeah, look. So I didn't buy the skin, right? So. <clears throat> I just clean out the entire UTDU shop for anything practical outside of the skin. I only finish 20 stages, so. <clears throat> Phew, I finally clear 30? What a bitch. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> don't say that to her. Ego is very cute. She's just a little bit fat in that stage. Like, pretty fat. But outside of that, nothing big. <laughs> nothing unexpected. Uh. <clears throat> One, two, three. And you give a cure. Gain strong will for one round at the end of every two turns. Curious first, yes. If you're lacking DPS, she's good to build. Keep in mind that this is UTT with extra bonus to damage. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, that was her natural damage. I don't have damage bonus. I don't have a lot of damage bonus on her. Outside of the tier 2 incantation stuff. But that thing doesn't affect ultimate. So you're looking at the natural ultimate damage of her. So you got this thing stayed fast, which is annoying. Right? Or strong well, whatever it's called. Stayed fast dodge. Mental damage dealt by non-ultimate attack. Oh, that's a shame. I'm just gonna use it's ultimate then. <laughs> I wouldn't have died if I didn't pull Malinia. Fast decision I made. Is this P2 Malinia? Yes, this is P2 Malinia. Target locked. P2 doesn't affect. Uh, affect damage that much though. I want to make this very clear. P2 doesn't affect that much of the damage part. It's more the fact you will guarantee to be able to have two slots for support skill between every two between every rotation, and which that can make a difference in your DPS. But obviously we're not doing that right now. We, we're literally just using her here. And look, I have some of the best cards, okay? I have some of the best cards. This is insanely strong boost. I'm not trying to stack. I'm just going to go on and ass whoop, right? I go in and ass whoop. So with this, I can pretty much, uh, you know, just run enemy down. Uh, there's another quick ass whoop if you want to run. You can actually run this. If you want to do like super fast turn one ultimate, but that's only if you have really good ultimate. Otherwise, this is like way better for this ultimate ass whooping set. 
What, what stage is this? Ah, uh, this one. Okay. Nothing crazy happening here. Centurion is good. Maybe, I don't know. So, probably power creep by the new character in CM, just saying. <laughs> probably, you pro if you have Centurion, you probably should reroll. roll It's like the worst possible start. I know what this is. <laughs> oh, look at Balkick, you probably knew here. You probably knew here. We have like 6k purple drop at the start of the stream. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I burned through everything I had. I burned through everything I had. This ridiculous block was so bad. Like, I was... I was amazed at how many... How many... Pulls you could take to get a character. I was absolutely ast astounded. Yeah, Centauri is so fun. The new character is gonna be so much stronger, especially with the new support made for her with the burning synergy. Like, she's gonna be like Lydia. No Twitch drop? Uh, that doesn't seem like there is a Twitch drop. Don't worry, I will be your Twitch drop. I will be doing a $100 giveaway tomorrow for my Honkai Star Real stream. Not Honkai Star Real, my bad. Uh, for my The List Zone Zero. And this time it will be global. I'll be running it on PayPal, so. Well, I'm not running it on PayPal. I'll give you the money on PayPal. But hey, <laughs> join my stream tomorrow on Twitch for the drops. Not drops. Uh, anyway, uh, beside the point. Beside the point. I'm pretty sure Holyverse is gonna do Twitch drops. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, really nice. I can never win giveaway. Maybe it's time. Look, my Twitch have almost no viewers. I'm doing a hundred dollar giveaway. It's going to be eight ten dollar giveaway and a twenty dollar. Why you didn't get ZZZCBT? Uh, I didn't, but I have account that I can get into it. Let's just say that. So, uh, technically I got in, basically, right? Technically I got in, and I will be playing the game. So, <clears throat> twenty three. It's pretty simple. <clears throat> Okay, oh, this stage sucks. They have so much CC. They have so much CC. So this is the stage where you want run cleanse. Do I have the cleanse stuff? No, I don't. I don't have the cleanse card. Oh my god. Oh, this sucks. Anyway, we're just gonna burn through it. <laughs> oh wait, we'll see. We'll see. I actually didn't play it in the previous because I never got in. Holyverse don't like me. Or whatever. I honestly don't know why. Bunk, look at that. Uh, I hate Digger so much. One. What is this? Rigidity? Oh, it's that one. Uh, let's actually kill her first, right? We'll kill her first, and then we're gonna target Digger. <clears throat> you have Molinia Chill. I mean, talking about giveaways, there's on um, regard to giving us anybody. Wait, what? There's giveaway there? What giveaway are we talking about? Collaboration reverse 1999 version 1.1 coupon code and $2,000 giveaway. What the fuck? What is happening? On the November 23rd, 2000 cash prize giveaway. Let the gacha begin. Holy shit, what is this? Leave public comment in this right during the above stated contest period. Only one entry is permitted. Did I already. Wait a second. Did I already make this? I think I did. Right? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't join this yet. Oh, well, I guess I'll join this. So I just uh, leave a comment here. I'm already in the two community, right? So, uh, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, what do you call it? I lost everything in the pickle banner. Everything. My wife, my kids, my cat, 
literally homeless now after having to do four, 140 pulls. I should win this giveaway. Uh, is there like any specific requirement? It just says leave a comment, right? Leave a public comment in this thread during all of contest period. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. <laughs> uh, is ending five hours still? Crazy. <clears throat> cats give my trail. Do you have a dog? No, I don't. I, I don't actually have cats. Look, Pats is like a lot of uh, responsibility, and I'm afraid of responsibility. You know, what is this? Shield up block damage. Oh, that's annoying. I know what they do. I'm afraid of responsibility. Have you lost everything if you have a dog, though? I don't have a dog. I don't have anything. Wait, do you have a cat? What breed? What gender? One cattle banner in 1999. What should they're, they're gonna make like a. Stingers, cat sometime in the future, probably. We'll see. We'll see. The way they handle this kind of stuff. Did you amplify any side tube yet? Yes, I'm trying to max out the uh, luxurious lasher because I like Millennia's playstyle. Yeah, pickle. Yes, uh, yes, I do have pickles. It only cost me 140 pulls, like the entire. My entire saving on the count is gone. <laughs> like literally, I have to tap into the purple teardrops. The purple teardrops, bro. That's crazy. Those are love, Melina plays the IFP P two. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, it makes a huge difference. <clears throat> How to join giveaway, that's what I mean. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, 23 is complete. 23 is easy. 24 is easy. Uh, 25 is annoying again. What was 25 again? Oh, the, the, the stacking one. Wow. So many things that I haven't seen. The taunt. Oh, this one, right? This one is the annoying one because it have taunt. Do not resist. At the start of turn, enter taunt state. After getting shield, getting that, right? So, if you want to have like an easier time, right? Do this, you have Did that, you, you have this, you have this, right? So you have a lot of things ready. Wait, she was not wearing anything? Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Nah, you don't do that. So for the stage 24, the most annoying thing is this, right? I have a talent. So the best way to deal with this is actually just as soon as you enter, you have Every a choice will affect the dispel outcome. ready. And then you can focus on the rest of the enemies, like this. Please live up to my expectations. Wait a second, wait. He didn't... Huh? What happened? What? It's under... Wait a second. Is the, is the taunt now dispellable? Are you serious? I mean, granted, I do a lot of damage because of my team, but... What the... Enemy attack must target the tiller. Huh? What happened to my tongue? I don't understand. What just happened? What is that sassy tinsense? And she was not wearing anything. Don't worry about it. We, do, we, we like running it. We like to run, run cool here. 25 duration, right? Uh. What do you mean 25 duration? If you prefer to play or a low spender, you shouldn't amplify anything at all. Absolutely not. You have to get more of those once. Because amplify itself is costly. As in terms of gluttony, right? You don't have access to gluttony right now. You just don't. And that is something you have to understand. 
time with the note. Even oh, I'm not afraid to play, it's okay, but thanks. What about doing one point for you if you don't have pullets? Well, spend money. More money. That's kind of how I play gacha games, but that's just me. Um, one perk of grinding in real life is you get to waste more money. In games. <laughs> yeah, that's not something you should say, but anyhow. Just a reminder. Target found. Watch your step. Live to stage 30 clear. Yeah, I mean, it should be, it should be pretty easy with my build. Spend money to real, exactly. You pretty much just want to have as much burst as possible. At the end of there. And you burst the boss. Right? Well, I guess that 14 stage was 25 stage. Guy, just gonna ignore that. Uh, 25. Oh, and the special wake should be here, right? Special wake is uh, right here unlocked. So, after clearing stage twenty, after clearing stage twenty, we'll unlock this thing called state. After clearing stage twenty, we'll unlock this thing called special week. Usually, it has happens on the second week of the UTU. I can't think of right now, but it's not super important. There is one achievement related to it that you can get for clearing it, which is read four times in special. We can get 500 of those tickets. Uh, it's a challenge mode. You barely have any reward. You don't have to worry about it. Anything else I didn't cover in, about UTTU? We talk about retail. We talk about this. We talk about uh, we clear UTTU. you will be rewarded with shopping receipt. Don't care about the skin. Pretty much everything you need. I think that's good, right? We'll see. We'll see if I need anything more. Uh, and you skip the character 37 6. Mm, I didn't. What are you talking about? Oh, by the way, do we have time for tomorrow's stream yet? Not yet. I need to know exactly when Hunka, uh, when Zelda Zone Zero opens. That's when I'm going to start the stream. Probably a few minutes earlier. But uh, <clears throat> So 25 is um, the stage where the boss heals a lot, right? So, so like, this is where you can... This is where you, like, you would potentially struggle because boss heals a lot. This is where you you basically want this one. Progre pro progress read 15 times in UTT retail. This is such a powerful one for the this version of UTTU. Right? It stacks as many times as you want. Every single action they take when they're holding their ultimate increase 20 their that ultimate's damage by 20% with no upper cap. Right? Just have no upper cap and just keep holding that and you one shot anything. Oh, that's an annoying as fuck stage. You have time things to subscribe. Right. Uh, it, it is what it is. Like, I mean, it's not the worst, right? It's not the worst. Uh, the, the, the boss basically just heal like crazy, right? At the start of the round, lose 30% of current HP. At the end of the turn, recover 30% of lost HP, right? So it just heals a lot. So you basically have to learn off your burst. Because look at it, it's only uh, 57 health. My team will burn through this boss so easily. Let me show you. Let me show you. Also, go back to uh Let's have a party then. Nothing unexpected. Fun. Ego wine is the problem. This is my best formula. <laughs> So you basically save all your big damages. Right now, so the first few rounds, right? All you're doing is cock is uh, accumulating as much boxy as possible for your characters right now. We'll do this. Because this one doesn't actually do a lot of damage, so we'll do that. And we have Moxie ready, right? The boss will actually lose a lot of it. You can redo the stages, you can do pay to win team, then free to play. Yeah, that's what we're finding. Um I will do the free to play stuff tomorrow, maybe. So I bet you turn like the boss already. The boss still do a lot of damage to itself, right? So and now we just uh, do as much damage as possible here, right? The boss only have only have like 32. It's not gonna survive this. It's not gonna survive this. I'm with the note. Even for a great Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it's not surviving this. Oh, no! Okay, I was about to say. 
I was about to say. One pool only I'm tired for saving. <sighs> Off saving. Ah, I feel you on that one. Sometime in gacha game when you have to save for future banner, it's a very painful experience. Because to a lot of people, gacha is really just about gacha. You know, it's 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 about that thrill of gambling. It's about that thrill of gambling. And when you can't gamble, uh, it sucks. And this next stage, what is this again? Let me see. Oh, it's this fucking stage. So, uh, I don't want to deal with this. You, would you pretty much just want as much AOE in your hand as possible, which I do have, I guess. So, it should be fine. Nothing with gotcha if you can gotcha. Exactly. Exactly. What is gotcha game if you don't even gotcha? <laughs> so, this thing, it takes three freaking turns to kill. Three freaking turns to kill. I mean, three freaking hits to kill. They only have three health, but it only takes one damage. And then this stupid boss will summon one every single turn and you have to just like stack this um, morpho on the boss before your team dies pretty much but yeah so aoe aoe into aoe right, so just throw AOE out of the boss for keeping those in check Oh, also, you can, like, you can probably use disarm around this kind of places. It's really easy because you're always two, three click from hell. Oh, well. I mean, we just experienced hell right here on stream, didn't we? The actual hell of gotcha. Like, it is crazy the gotcha lock we have witnessed today on stream. That was the next level stuff, you know? <laughs> uh, anyway, this turn we can probably just kill the boss. I don't know, we'll see. So, uh, big damage into smaller damage into smaller damage. Pump. Boom, boom, boom. All right, not enough, but the next turn we have ultimate, we should be able to kill it. You hurt. Not that much, but you hurt. Time with the note, even for a great. And the boss is dead. I didn't crit. Anyhow, anywho. A mice pass. AOE and AOE and just one more AOE. One, two, three, and we're done. This stage is mostly just annoying because of the boss. <clears throat> what sort of streamer luck did you get? Uh, I got the best type. I heart pitied for Pickle on stream. It was 140 pulls. I completely drained everything I had. I think I think you guys probably have seen the screenshot I have with all the how much I have. If you look at right now, I have zero clear drop, zero summons, and my drop went from 5,900 to 3520. Reverse streamer lock, exactly. Ah. Anyway, uh, Blue Pock, my account ID is 4006688869. I would like you guys to inject some luck into the account so I don't hard pay feel like this on stream again. Thank you very much. Oh. Good thing is, next patch we have. Oh, my plan for Tooth Fairy. I'm planning to P2 her. Her P2 is nice. Having her P2 make her a, a little bit less on the rotation uh, is a good boost. What is 57 again? Ah, this is one. This is actually, this is actually pretty easy. Uh, let's run the ass whooping team. 2.0, right? This is the super ass whooping team. We'll run the super ass whooping. Team. A special week stuff. Not really. If you can clear 30, you should be able to clear a special week. It doesn't. It also like barely have any reward. I'll just tell you right now. You barely have any reward. Okay. Look at this ass whooping. His plan is called PayPal. Exactly. Boom. Oh. Oh. Retreat. What? But just uh, do. 
Uh, boom. Uh, boom and the uh, boom. And uh, oh, we can we have one more action. Right. We'll heal this. Target locked. Oh, by the way, for those of you people who just joined on the Twitch side, check out my folder emotes. Well, some of them are folder emotes, some of them are premium. You're only allowed to set up five folder emotes. I can't do much about that one. <laughs> and uh, there is no folder emotes on YouTube, unfortunately, so there's that. Target locked. All right, time to check if Centurion is good. Is Centurion good? Ow, ow! Calm down. Wait a second. Damn, she actually killed her. What the heck? Like, no flipping way that just happened. Wasn't expecting that level of damage, actually. Anyway, she's gonna die next turn. As as long as she doesn't kill my uh, eagle. Van hide, van hide. Oh, that one is uh, that one is the better Twitch one. Yeah, that's the better Twitch one. There is the regular follow emote, and there is the better Twitch emotes. Those emotes. Cannot be shown on my system, unfortunately, because they're not official. Switch. What's that? How many levels? Thirty. <laughs> Total thirty <laughs> levels and five more for special weeks. It's a pretty fun mode for most people, at least I think. Depends on what. Right. All right, Centurion. Good night. You're dead. You will be sorry. I was hoping to get some single target skills, but I uh, guess we'll just do this. <clears throat> I can't add you anymore, friend limit reached. Oh well. It's alright, well, every month, at the end of the month, which is like the 30th, I'll purge people who's like 2 weeks plus not being on the game. I'm sure I'll open some. I will open some slots. <clears throat> what is 28? 28! Was 28 an annoying one? Because if it's annoying, we'll have ruined down. Uh, nope, it's a, just a normal stage. Oh, this one is actually super simple. You just have to... You just have to kill her because they return damage. <gasps> just kill her, literally. Just kill her. Wow. So many things also, look at the, look at how free to play my team is. Except the Sotheby. I guess Sotheby is pretty free to play as well. Uh, not anything outrageous either, right? So... Also, by the way, you can have like a four incantation start on your character if you want sometimes. It takes practice. I mean, it takes resets, but you can have four incantation start. For example, like, like now I look at it. I got four incantation start on my Sylphy. That's not what I want, right? I want... Uh, let me see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wait. I remember I can have like a four incantation start on this one. Some interesting works. So yeah, there we go. We have four incantation corn bloom start, right? So this is great. And so we do this. Four into that, into that. Oh? Engines have gone. It's radio waves are everywhere. Just running at me down with that damage. Why not use Melinia? I thought Melinia is your strongest character right now. Oh, we're just doing some pay- We're just trying to uh, not pay to win for a moment, you know? <laughs> just trying to not pay to win so hard on this one. Nothing big. And let's throw some heal off. Use Pickles. I didn't build him yet. Like, I'm gonna avoid using Pickle for the next two patches. I don't usually tell people to skip, but I'm telling people to skip pickle, right? So, oh, please don't kill her. Are you serious? Interesting. Mother. If I see you build pickles, right? I have I have replacement build, but uh, oops. 
I weave the gown with Oops! That's that was a really bad turn. Um I don't need to dispel anything, so axe is useless here. And um But Fuck! This is really bad turns. We'll just do this, we'll just do this, it kills that, and then we'll uh go from there, I guess. Oh, oops, 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 oops. This is the problem with lower ranking units, right? Oh my god, it didn't kill. Oh my god. Is, you know, if you're running unit at I2 instead of I3, it's, and you're not like maxed out on wrestlers, at the end, you're gonna run into issue like this. We should listen to what people say. Oh, I think X is still clear. This is all right. Titan won't give up his friends. Neither will Sotheby. No need to look back. Okay, Sotheby, carry? Maybe? Fuck. <laughs> Sotheby, carry, please? Um, actually, yeah, I think Sotheby got this. Sotheby got this. I know what this is. Sotheby got this. Got it! Sotheby, let's go! Let's go! Sotheby the gold! Boom! Big damage. Big OE. Sotheby sweep. Exactly. What a beautiful, beautiful clear. <laughs> My entire team got a wipe. God damn it. Uh. This is why you put on the revive card sometimes and just. Uh, let me see what is this one. Oh, this one is easy one as well. Honestly, let me just have some pay to win security here instead of him. We'll throw out my eternity. If we ever All get right. you it, we'll, just we'll just throw our eternity. I will be <laughs> home by 10. We have the AoE, we have the uh, crypt stuff. I will assist you to keep the battle. Free low. Yeah, exactly. So easy. <clears throat> For tomorrow. Big damage. So to be is the DPS. I mean, so to be is the DPS. Very much viable ass one. Look at this ass whooping. Forgive me, will you? Uh -huh. Such a great set. I love this set so much. It's so fun to play mostly. Um, <clears throat> Same but after multiple times of indecisiveness. I decided to skip Melania and Pickle. Then I'm a row for 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, and 1.5. Well, good luck! I think you got this. This is what you call the uh, the calm before the storm, you know? What card should you aim for anyway? Uh, I'll, I'll give you like a guidance on that in a bit. Been deciding shit since first half of. Patch 1.1. I think actually I'll do a more high added video for that, honestly, because I cannot show the the gameplay stuff, right? Some of the cards I don't have them, and you have to farm it out. So I'll probably do a high added video about which card to do, and then insert the lower lower stuff from the stream itself. Card farm is pretty useless after finishing stage 30. Yes. All right, there we go. We're on stage 30 now. It's been what? It's been two hours. Um, which, about at least 20 minutes of that was me suffering. We're just gonna pay to win this one. <laughs> so, wait, uh, this is not what we're looking for, though. We are going to be using the um, <clears throat> double stacking on this one. So, it's just gonna double stack. Wait, do I have not have the other stacking one? No way. Oh, I don't have multilinguist? No way. No way. No way. I don't have multilinguist. I don't have any achievement. Ah, oh, that sucks. Do I have multilinguist here? I do not. This sucks. I guess I'll just get one of the defensive one and finish it. I'm very close to I3 Sotheby. I'm so happy. Well, congrats. You have a stable healer by that. Oh, wow. useless. You want them for the special. Special week, honestly, is not that hard. I'll be honest with you, right? Like, special special week is just not that hard. This is my favorite no? formula. I know what 
I was thinking of getting Psyche for second life or Necro for a higher attack and I can use her as a healer too. What do you think about that? Like, again, the problem is building Necro for her ultimate and stuff. It just, in a three, three action slot fight, you have to understand the fact your necrologist has to compete for the action slot in order to get to her ult. She's not pickle. She can't get her ult with like two skills, right? I could without card with with less power. But I think you're fine. Oh uh, yeah, it's I mean it's not that hard. You're just pretty much stacking. I have so I had something I wanted, but whatever, it didn't work. So I have this two set. Um, we're just gonna max out on burst, right? So to max out on burst, we can throw this on her. This critical stuff is also gonna convert to her overall damage. And um, actually, wait a second. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, I'm thinking. Do I have another TTD? No, I don't have it. That sucks. Oh, it doesn't actually matter, so... Um, a lot of the stuff I have are just not that useful, honestly speaking. I can run this one, I guess, just to pull that damage from some of the ultimate. And then he kind of... she's kind of just being chilly. Take over that, and uh, she will use the lesser one. Yeah, let's do that. Without any of my character, yeah, I did use the team card that give alts at the start for the of the fight. I mean, that one works as well. So the boss have 100k, 100k. You have to burn this thing, right? You have to burn through because um, <clears throat> another round grand super since the weakness round defense critical. Cannot get Moxie at start of the round. Cast ultimate on all target in super sending weakness stat. <clears throat> okay, it's not. It's here. So, at the end of the round, HP plus 100%. Damage taken plus 10% every time when, it's, when it is attacked. So, right? Right now, we're running different... Um, what do you call it? Different stacking cards on each of the character, right? We have the stacking card on her. We have the uh, ultimate focus stacking, but this is kind of stacking. Unfortunately, I don't have that much stacking, but we have the mainly my main DPS have the stacking. I'm going to bet on her to be able to continuously move a lot, right? We're going to put all the action possible onto her. And we're probably throw a defense healer. Which eagle will come out on top? Oh, we'll see. Probably mine, but hey, we'll see. I didn't go to 12 12 on this fight though. I was going to fail for a second. This fight is designed to be a lot better if you play on day two. It's just a lot better to play on day two because of the different. Come on, what is this? I need two actions of Melinia. I like this. Oh, anyway. Conventional choice. <laughs> this is the kit. Well prepared for you. you. Just keep attacking. Uh, keep attacking the boss. Stack the debuff, and then um, and then have that special stacking card on the stab, and you're good to go. Target locked. Hey. So now, how many how many stack? It doesn't show, up, does it? Uh, it doesn't show. Up. Anyway, it does tell you so. I'm going to use as many millennia skills as possible. And then for the rest, I just try to use attacks, right? Honestly, I just wasn't paying attention for the first four to six rounds, so I didn't notice the stacking for a second. Oh, I see. I-340 Centurio, I-320 Eternity, I-3-5. Oh, I-3-5, so I remember you. I remember you. So you can see, like, we're already halfway through on one turn, right? This is just first use of her ultimate, because you're stacking. That actual damage taken on the boss. But obviously, more stacking is way better. Again, the more stack, the more stacking, the merrier. But this is good enough. You know? I can't get the stuff I want. That sucks. And I might want to heal a little. Team is losing health. There's no icon or anything for the stacking. Yeah. Well, you just have to read. 
Mandas were reading an army. Look at that. Half of the HP in one ultimate. Lord, take the offensive. The ingredients to earn it said it was very effective. Please believe me. Lord, take the offensive. Actually, now I think about it. I know, I know I'm obviously on my way to clear this, but, but if you're not doing the special stacking, right? If you're not doing the, the special stacking from that one specific thing, actually, this is better. Uh, this is a better one here because um, this increase one action. This give you more actions, give you more skills, more selections. This help you stack faster. Instead of worrying about ultimate because you don't need to worry about stacking ultimate here. You just need to attack boss as often as possible. Take it easy. And in the process, in the process, right? In the process of attacking as often as possible, you increase the damage boss taken. Are you insane? You play Project Moon games. What do you mean? I only started the game 15 November, team not tanky enough. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. Like I said, so if you don't worry, if you don't care about the skin, right? As long as you don't give a crap about the skin, you actually just don't have to worry. You can clear out the entire shop in 20. Also, if you just give up on some of the like coin stuff, you can get all the important stuff without clearing the entire thing. Attack or crit Melania Restless. Attack right now is better, but if you run her with Tooth Fairy, crit obviously. Yeah, I use, I use plus one AP every time. I mean, it depends on the fight. This one specifically is good. I'm trying to stack more of Melania skills, so I'm gonna reroll. There we go, we got two Melania skills this round. Because I'm stacking that buff on her. You see that knife? You see that knife? Each of that is more crit. We're getting a lot of free crit from this, right? And that free crit is gonna turn into the knife that stabs into this little girl's heart. We're eating eagle for dinner. Anyway. <laughs> Oh my freaking god! You guys saw that, right? You guys saw that? Holy... Can you show your resonance from Alina later? Yeah, sure. It's actually the same as my uh, guide. Well, that, that just happened. Um... Ahem. <clears throat> she might be dead here. <laughs> uh, it's curious how confusion works. It actually works with excessive crits become crit damage like records. It does not. It just gives you crit rate. If you overcap it, you overcap it. It does not have special mechanic like that. I mean, if it does, Regulus would be so... I mean, not Regulus. The Lydia would be so good with Tooth Fairy. The reason she's not good with Tooth Fairy is because it doesn't have that. Right? No, she's dead. I miss her. <laughs> and I lost uh, some actions, which sucks. Anyway. Um, maybe I should have brought an I3 here, but anyhow. Anywho. Keep that queuing up. <laughs> Two, one, down. We're getting pretty ready to kill the boss here. Don't be so hard. Don't be so hard. Don't be so hard. The show's on. The show's on. Are you sure? A YouTube tested it with Melania. Boss target highest HP or at least never the same one twice. In. Oh, so the boss ultimate. Okay, it's dead. Never mind. The boss ultimate target the character with that debuff. Okay, here's how this boss works, right? You know how Ego has this debuff where he reduces in defense? The boss at the beginning of round apply this debuff on the enemy. Which unlocks so at start of round purify, not this one. So at the end of the round, grant super sense weakness to a random enemy. 
This reduced the reality defense and critical defense by 30%. This cannot be dispelled. At the start of the round, cast ultimate on target with the super sense weakness. This is, this is completely random. This is completely random. But yeah, uh, as you can see, like, it's super easy if you just stack. Like, you build the stack stuff like this on the boss and you just keep attacking. It's... It, we're done. We're done. Actually, yeah, we're done. It says random story to look like the highest... Highest HP? What do you mean? High? Look. Can I help you? Ten thousand HP. Your visit was not in my. Seven thousand HP. What do you mean highest HP? <laughs> they are. This is. <laughs> this is not highest HP. All right, I forgot. There's possible to ask. Well, huh? Puzzle time. Oh, and also this. We just cleared some of the challenging stacks. I have logged in the game five times. That's cr that's ridiculous. Oh sh! Holy, that's a lot of rewards all the way down. That's crazy. The puppy. <clears throat> Puzzle time. I hate thinking. Thinking is such overrated stuff to do. Why? Why do we have to <laughs> think? Why do I have to think? Think about it. I am so strong. Why can't I just like one shot the guards instead? <laughs> do we need to have a guide on how much resource needs to get from level one to each level, including inside somewhere? Uh, we do not have a guide, but I have a website for you guys, which I use. This is where I get the majority of my information from. I, I will list this in the chat below. And so, for example, right, I want to know how much does it take to max out pickles. You go down here, this is all the insight materials. And you go, actually, no, it's up here, right here. So, you can go from inside 0, inside 1, inside 2, inside 3. These are the stats, they tell you the stats and the cost. So, and all the way to down is 1,352,100. Dust and six hundred oh eight thousand eight hundred thirty credits. Plus, obviously, there are two hundred here that is needed and forty thousand, eighteen thousand. So add those together. This is what I use for the guide. I might consider just make a video because I'm assuming most people don't look at look at those kind of things. Plus, this is a Chinese website, so you guys probably don't understand. Uh, pickle. Pickles and apple reach the goal. Reach the goal within 25 steps. What I'm doing here? Uh, all chess pieces must reach the goal to win the round if there are more than one chess piece on the scene. Move the target gadget to point of 10 and use it. Use item, destruct other chess pieces, attention with the gadget that you find. Oh! out okay do I have to go around here yeah it's following so we just have to go around wait is this 25 nope that's more than 25 so that's a fail I have to do, do this first ah lame how did I do this in 25? Anybody know what that what did I do wrong? Anyway, you better give your credit card for the tooth fairy trend today. I probably will have to from the way that my pool went. Like what the f Huh? It didn't move? <clears throat> How does this even work? Oh, wait, it's only... So, these people are not... Okay, they're not guards. <coughs> they're not guards. That makes sense. <clears throat> they're not... I thought they were, they, they were, like, chasing us, but I guess they're not.
Well, that works. That works. Whatever that just happened. I'll watch this later. Every single story of this game is so freaking long. All right, that works. Surprisingly, well, I didn't even think there, but hey, well, I'm so smart. <laughs> oh, but when you try something, it works the first time. Distraction is correct. Well, that's good to know. Collect the scatter flare to achieve stage goal. Is that diggers? Yeah, that's diggers. What? What is happening? Hmm. So I just have to reach it and I can just go from this way, right? It's 27, 28. Nah! Nah, not like this. Not like this! I'm in the middle of picking the free gold card. I'm thinking of getting either Lydia or Voyager card. Which one is better for consistency? I have Lydia and Melina and I3 as my main. Oh well. A Lydia, Lydia card is the one that gives you a lot of crit damage, so that's something you should consider. Hmm. What? Hmm. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay, so I have to make sure I make it up. Hmm. Right? And he's hmm. not in there, like this. What? And... Uh, pickle and you reach the goal, collect the flare fragment. What? Hmm. Wait, did Tigger get blocked in there? Are you serious with this? So I have hmm. to use this to distract the guard out. Okay, makes sense. Actually, so if I distract it, it makes more sense I distract it hmm. there, right? So I throw this here. What? While going that hmm. way, we pick this stuff up, right? So it makes sense. What? Hmm. Make sure this what? thing is out and not blocked by it. Look at that, I'm so smart. Hmm. Holy, look at that, how easy it was. Roger Carr made my millennia from P0 to P2. Oh, I mean, it's up to you, really, but uh, I like the extra damage on the crit. Oh, with that, right, you do need you do need the other card which converts crit to crit damage. That's when it's so good. This is why I'm on the stream. Maximum suffering after hard pity on pickles. I'm not suffering what you're talking about. I'm literally outplaying this so easily. Like, there was... I only, like, took me four tries. <laughs> Little proud if you have pulled out this holster without our permission. Take your dog and do somewhere else. Oh, how dare you do that to my pickle? What am I trying to do? Hmm. Pickle and apple reach the goal. Uh, I'm s that didn't look like apple, did it? Did 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 that did did that look like did that look like apple or digger to you guys? I do want to ask that. Am I hallucinating? Because I think I might be hallucinating. Oh God, <clears throat> sir, he went this way. What are we doing? Uh, oh my God, why? Why does this? What is this? My god, where's the... Am I alone? 
Oh my god. What is this? Travel flare. So I can use that. Oh my god, you... Are you serious? What is this? My God, let me go down here. That's right. Oh, my God. So easy. Didn't even have to try. Why is there even more now? What is this? Seem like nobody. Tear them. Why? Like here's the. You know, one of the worst part. They have this mini game again in chat in one point three. Uh, pretty much the exact mini game, and it freaking sucks. <laughs> oh, wrong one. Oops. What I'm gonna try to do here? And to. Okay, I can't go through there. Can I go through here? I can't. We're waving through like a fish. Wow. That's crazy. Holy moly, the skill is insane. Look at this. Such a skilled stream right here. 37 steps. It's, it's, it's easy. It's easy. It's so easy. Look at that. Look at that. Zero. It's, it's, I didn't have to try. That's probably the least step you can get in this mode. You know? I'm that good. <laughs> I'm him. <clears throat> oh, pickle puzzles are more easier than millennia puzzle stage. to not going to lie. I mean... <clears throat> Are you no? That that's not true. Melania's stage were so easy, in my opinion. Oh, okay, reset. Hmm. 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 Waving like a fish, just like that. So good. So easy, I think. Anyhow. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> How many more? I have just. Alright, I can fund so I can cut the stream in just six more. Okay, just six more. Holy. Uh, what are we trying to do here? 35, we have that. We, we need to distract this guy out, right? So, pull it out and we can get the. Pickle out of here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <clears throat> Melina, you see the. <clears throat> I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure Melina is easier. Stage ten of Melina took me quite a while to figure out. All stage of the pickles, it didn't even take like one two minutes. I don't know, man. Um, it only took me thirty seconds, I think, per stage. You know, averaging thirty. It says my IQ is like higher than pickle. 
I'm a I'm a philosophical ban. Okay, I'm a philosophical ban. And this is without any guide. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> obviously, who need guide? Crazy. You need guide for something so simple. Hmm. All right, time to rescue Pico and throw this there. Easy. <clears throat> so easy. Uh, eight. <clears throat> Let's see. What's the red dot on top of on the world cabin you to you? Let me see. What what's red dot are we talking about? I mean, we can look at that after this. I have to. What is? Oh no! Hmm. Run. Well, he only chased diggers, so that's good. <clears throat> well, that was easy. That was easy. <clears throat> now, some people did upload how to complete stage 10 millennia. <clears throat> I cleared it before they uploaded it. I mean, there's probably clear solution for it on BDBD, but hey. <clears throat> What's the point of playing the game if you just copy the walkthrough, right? You gotta do the IQ test. Of course, though, we have entered the new stage. The enemy is the same as before. It's like living the past again and again. <clears throat> so we just We must wave through like a fish. We cannot make a single mistake and we're out. Look at that. The moment I saw the stage, I had the exact route I'm gonna take. Not a single wasted step. And just like that, we made it through. Also, look at the mess. Like, so outside of UTT, which is about a third of uh, inside three materials, you also get more material there. I have some achievement to clear. Okay, so here we go. Read ten times you need to retell. Oh, yeah. I just need. I just need to retell and give you this one. Which um. Honestly, for this fame card, right? When you're getting this 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 one, this is honestly the best in my opinion. This is super good because. It just lets you have all your incantation on tier 3. You can use this to do like a super burst on turn 1, right? Everybody's everybody's incantation is at rank 3. And <clears throat> like you literally enter and just blow everything up. But I do need a stacking one for now, so I'm just gonna run another one. Where's the multilinguist? There we go. We're almost done. We're almost done. <clears throat> Both. Somebody's ready. All right. Let's see. Uh, pickle and digger rich to go. Where's digger? Mm. Alright, done. What? So one is in there. Circle around that. And we're in. Look at that. So easy. Lock extra stage is harder than 12, uh, 12 to 13. It's supposedly, right? Supposedly, according to what the developer said, it's harder than 30. But it's, it's, it's about the same. It's about the same. Like, it's not that much more difficult, honestly. Take that with a grain of salt, though. I'm a, I'm a well, so... Uh, and I didn't finish UTT in the end, so don't count me in that one. What is this? Pickle Rich to go within 50 steps. I do not like that. I do not like how lenient this is because usually when it says. F when it's lenient on that, it's usually bad on other things. Um, Okay, that was pretty easy. We're almost there.
How do I get past them? Huh? Oh wait, I gotta pass him. Okay, 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 okay. Planned, planned. I know exactly what I was doing. Well, have fun. Gotta go. All right, have have a good day, guys. Have a good day. Thanks for coming by. And we cleared the entire thing. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Look at that. My IQ just increased by two after clearing this. I have become as smart as Pickle, I think. Anyhow, well, that was the entire stream. We'll just do a quick auto farming session while we look up the next thing. Um, I think I finished all the things I need for the guide and I'll try to make the UTD guide one more time. We'll see how that goes. Or not, I don't know. <clears throat> no promises on that one. It's really awkward making guide live. Right now, I'm trying to learn how to do that correctly. But yeah, so I am trying to, since I don't have to worry about anything mm -hmm. else, I'm tr actually trying Can to I farm you? for Millennia R15. So, uh... <clears throat> And one more chicken. Quite craft in the this. wilderness. This become a lot better. You don't have to actually teleport here anymore. So we can just do Oh, we can we have enough material for one. And then we need one more of this and we can also do that. Oh, that's neat. That is neat. We might have enough for Millennia R14. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? Yeah, that was enough and we can just open this. So, uh, let me see. I think I already bought the one in the pawn shop for this week. I mean, for this... For this season. So I cannot get another one from here. Oh, I didn't. Nope, I didn't. So yeah, it's right here. You can see it's, I already bought it out. So I will have to use my casket. Which I have three of. We're gonna open one. And just like that, we are R14. We're R14 with Millennia. Her damage is over the roof already. <clears throat> Whatever I need to farm, we'll farm in that. So the next one is the apple. How many do I need as far as mats goes? Ooh, that's a lot of mats. So this means the ghost. I need one ghost. And we need birds. We can just farm birds. Okay, this is where we're going to end that. Which side tube would you amp first? I amped the... Luxurious Lasher first. It's a great side tube. It's okay is universal. Not completely universal, but okay is universal. But here's the question. The real question is... Uh, Stone is Stone Zero. Beta start. It's 9 p.m. CT. Center time. Wait, what? Oh, this is old. This is old article or new one. November twenty third, nine p.m. Central Time. No way. Is it starting today? Wait, is that the Zone Zero beta right now? That'd be crazy. I've already said that Sotheby doesn't need a bodyguard. How to deal with disappointment? What the fuck are those posts? Uh. Already received an invitation. To verify your detail, check the redress button. Do not brute force or spam the comment with the bot. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, when... Oh, wait. We have this? It started on November 24th, right? So Thursday, November 23rd, 9 p.m. Starting... What the f... There's no way. Zelda Zone Zero Beta is right now in two hours. That's crazy. That is crazy. I thought it was tomorrow, but we're not doing tonight because uh, I'm extremely sleep deprived. 
after the pickle video so we're still gonna do it tomorrow okay we can't we we're not gonna do it on launch well i'll i'll play the game a little bit but it's gonna be off stream uh just do the daily and stuff i guess yeah it, it's today so um we will do it so tomorrow i'm going to be streaming all day long pretty much i will be streaming all day long with zealous stone zero or however however much content it has probably starting like 9 a.m i'll schedule a yeah i think i'll schedule a stream on 9 a.m i you, you will be able to see it on my channel on exactly what that time is for you and feel free to jump in if it's still going on when you're like wake up or something and i will be running giveaways throughout the days while i'm streaming unfortunately only on twitch because i only have the chat box ready for the twitch and stuff but hey <clears throat> outside of that you know we're, we're chilling we've been chilling being chilling <clears throat> so yeah that's it for today it was pretty fun we did the utt pretty easily thanks to my now our 14 millennia if you want to know what that looks like with all this can stuff we are you? looking at almost 2000 Sorry. attack Your i think we can get to 2000 plan, almost 2000 so attack <laughs> and we have other stats which is a little bit crit rate because i'm not being crit a little bit crit damage but most importantly that much attack and then 18 percent ultimate might 21 percent damage bonus yay all right, this has been Steam Ban X. Thanks you guys for coming by, and I will see you it. I will see you guys actually, yeah, tomorrow.